More fun catching them with a foam damsel fly. I headed out to Bethany this uh, later evening, or late afternoon, early evening, and started things off with a strike on the first cast. Unfortunately, it was also a missed hook set. Got off the hook as we were bringing it in. But luckily, we kept on after several more casts and working around the uh, ponds. Or in this case, the main pond. We were able to get this guy to strike. Not a big guy, but still took the uh, foam damsel fly. Good stuff. So I kept working around the uh, main pond, and we got this guy to hit. A little close-up action of the strike. Bringing this baby in. Put up a good fight on the four weight. Little moss on there, but there he is. A bass. Good stuff. He stayed the same spot, kept working at the uh, location, had several misses, and finally got this guy to take. We let the uh, foam downs of fly land on the surface and give it about five, six count. And next you know, something's hitting it. And fortunately, we were setting the hook too soon and not getting a good hook set. It was a little bit chillier. I believe we even have a possible frost warning this evening. Pretty interesting on the last day of April, soon to be the first day of May. Here's a bruiser bluegill. This one probably went about, oh, seven, seven, eight inches. Not bad. Unfortunately, it tore up the fly, and we ended up having to switch out. And I was able to work this one in. Little bass. Kept at it, saw something moving off to our left, so we cast over there, and sure enough, we got ourselves another one to take. A little bass. Another little bass. <laughs> our last one. Getting dark, or starting to get dark. Working over there by the wall, just at the entrance, or just by the, the parking area. Still working the main pond, got this guy to take. One a bruiser, but still put up a good fight. I almost got him. So this one was last bass this evening. Alrighty, till next time, good luck and good fishing.